is stronger than yours. It's stronger than yours. It's stronger than yours. My love is stronger than yours. Hate will ever be. And my. All right, don't want to ruin the surprise. Upcoming edit. Stay tuned. Should be up this week. What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron Ciotti. Zoom mic level is working. No screw-ups yet. Ooh, yeah! My name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. You can call me whatever you would like. Thanks for coming. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to the shit show. <laughs> if you're new here, thanks for coming. Uh, in the chat, we've got Alex M25, Big Willy FPV, Brent Vogel saying, Chan Wang, Cool Handed Druid, Dave's FPV, David Gasida, Gasdia rather, Dean APV, Drone Pilot, Eric Allen, Finn, Floppy Props and Wobbly Wheels, FPV Trucker, Free Lojo, Fun with J Pie, Gorbin Den, Grey Dogs FPV, Jafar Zaidi, Jack in a Backpack. <laughs> That's a good one. Just Because, Justin French, Cage FPV, Ken Hill, Mr. Blair, Mr. Sprinkles, Mr. Shady, Nick Bark, Nicholas Barclay, Off Axis FPV in the house, Pedro Tomei, Pesky FPV, Ranfleen Diaz, Rollin Carter, Rob Axelson, Sharp Pizza FPV. <laughs> sharp, sharp Pizza. What makes the pizza sharp, yo? That's awesome. Solo FPV, Stephen Rossi, Stock Racing Club, Stuck in Trees, Sully Todd, William Barlow, Williams, Wilson Oakley, and yeah, Boyd. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming. I am jumping back into the regular chat there. If I miss somebody, you just got to get in earlier, and you just got to comment quicker. I've got a new light. It's bigger. It's brighter. The rest of the room is not quite correct. Actually, let's do this. Hold on. I got this. Where'd that remote go? Look, the new light's got a, a new remote. Not a new remote, but a remote. Let's go down just a little bit here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Cool. So uh, tonight we're doing some things, and then uh, we'll do some other things, and then uh, we'll do some giveaways. What's that? 24 minutes from now we're going to do some giveaways. The, the, my phone will go bananas, uh, but apparently it'll go bananas somewhere else in this apartment. <laughs> Hold on. It. All right, we're good. Found me phone. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, here's the deal on the giveaways. Patreon link down below. Uh, four giveaways every single Monday night. Three giveaways are run through Patreon. One giveaway is super chat based. Uh, if you want to get in on the Patreon giveaways, all you got to do is click down here, go to my Patreon page, and to get in, uh, to get access to the Patreon with all kinds of good stuff. I have articles up there about PID tuning, uh, filter tuning, uh, how to, uh, just all kinds of good stuff. Early releases of edits, um, unfinished edits that'll never see the light of day, all kinds of good stuff. Um, chat, back me up. The Patreon page rules, right? Uh, if you want to get into the Patreon page, it's three bucks a month. Uh, and then if you want to get into the giveaways, it's either five, 10, 20, or 30 a month. Five bucks is the tier that's all tiny whoop and toothpick stuff. Uh, Ten bucks a month is the tier that's three inch micro brushless stuff. Acrobrat, um, Armaton Tagpole, Tadpole, all that stuff that's, you know, more, just heavier than toothpick parts, basically. And then uh, for 20 bucks a month, it's going to be five inch parts. For 30 bucks a month, so I, I did that so that if you only fly five inch, you can only be in that tier and you won't get stuff you can't use for tiny whoops and whatnot. Um, but for those of you that have tiny whoops, toothpicks, three inch micro brushless rigs and five inch rigs, there's a $30 tier and that puts you in everything. So that puts you in three giveaways every single Monday. So 12 giveaways a month. The folks that have been doing that have been cleaning house and have lots of fun stuff. So if you got the budget and you want to super duper support me, there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, there's of course some other tiers over there. I got good descriptions in there. Hopefully if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, so yeah, 22 minutes from now, that giveaway is going to start. So you've got 22 minutes if you want to get in on tonight's Patreon giveaways to get on over there, get yourself signed up, and uh, yeah, I'll make sure I get you on the wheel tonight. Speaking of the wheel, let me just pull that up and click a few buttons to refresh it before here. Okay, there we go. 
Kind of refresh that, refresh that, and good to go. Cool. So let's hit the chat and uh, see what you guys are talking about. This is our um, Q&A stream as well, so fire off as many questions as you'd like. Uh, if you want me to see your comment in the chat, you've got to do something very specific. Uh, you've got to type the at symbol and then C-I-O-T-T-I-F-P-V. Uh, the regulars in the chat will help. If you forget to do that, they will hopefully see it and uh, repost your question with a tag for me. Uh, basically, by typing at CIDFPV or at anybody's name in the chat, um, it lights your message up in orange for that person. So it makes it a million times easier for them to see it. Um, our chat goes just fast enough where I can't quite keep track. So if you want me to see your comment, you got to tag me. Uh, if you forget, hopefully somebody will uh, will give you a hand. So let's move the wheels over here. And what's going on in the chat? Off Axis FPV just says pizza in all capital letters. Cage FPV tags me and says, hey, what's up, Cage? What's up, Little Cage as well? Uh, William Barlow asks, what do you think of the Zeus 35 AIO? Uh, the, so I haven't used the new Zeus yet, but I know that the old Zeus was a complete nightmare. And uh, for me, HGLRC has just sort of been a complete nightmare. Um, literally everything that I've gotten from them has failed. Uh, some of them right out of the box. So a long, long time ago, I swore off HGLRC for life. And I'm not dead yet. So I guess I can't check out the Zeus 35 AIO. Um, if they sent me one, I would try it because... Even if it explodes, in theory, it wouldn't blow up any of my other gear connected to it. Uh, but that's about it. The, I, I will never spend a dime on anything HDLRC related ever again. Um, sorry, I know that sucks for you guys, but sometimes you just got to um, hold the line and uh, just not get burned again. I, I got burned quite a few times. Um, th there were two of the three, maybe four times that I've said... That's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm this. This is bullshit. Parts breaking out of the box. I can't handle this. I can't afford this. I can't. It's too frustrating. Um, two of those times that I did that uh, and like went to sleep like it's over. I'm selling everything in the morning. Um, it was because of HGLRC stuff. And uh, yeah, so it is what it is. Um, I don't know. Jafar says, Oi, what up, Siati? What's up, Jafar? How are you? Uh, Pesky FPV says, what's up? It's 3 a.m., but we are finally getting ready to fly again in the U motherfucking K. Sounds good, Pesky. Go get it. Uh, Big Willie FPV. Hello. Been a long week, has it? <laughs> it's only Monday. <laughs> Stuck in trees. What's up? Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Market Zero. I love that shirt. Here it is. So this is, um, this is my year Miata, which is from 99 to... Oh, Christ, I forget when they stopped making the NB2, but um, this was the first year, 1999, in the U.S. that we got a Miata without pop-up headlights, um, thus the pop-up blocker moniker on this shirt. Uh, Kristen, who wants a first-gen pop-up headlight Miata in the worst way and has for a long time, um, she's got a version of this shirt with a red uh, NA, first-gen Miata, with the headlights popped up. And it says, pop-ups enabled. <laughs> so every once in a while, we'll wear our shirts together like complete nerds and people will laugh at us. And it's all good. I'm cool. As long as you're laughing. At me, with me, whatever. It's all good. Uh, all right. What else? Uh, Cage FPV. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fix the motor 4 issue with the CLI command. Cannot thank you enough. Isn't that unbelievable, Cage? Um, I, I think I'm actually having that problem on, on one right now. <laughs> So, Airbender FPV says, what's up? What's up, brother? Dark Sagan, uh, was I too early for a hello? Dark, were you first? Oh, you were first. Look at you. So, oh, man. Yeah, I don't... So, um, the, the when I pop the live chat out, there's a feature to show a participant list. And I haven't quite figured out how that participant list works yet, apparently. Um, I thought the way that it worked is that when I opened it, it's, it's, it's pretty empty, and then as you post a comment, it fills up with people's names. So I've been opening it really early, like 10, 20 minutes before the stream, and then I've been leaving the participant list up, thinking that it would just fill up with people who were commenting, and apparently it's not, because I see Dark was one of the first comments, and he wasn't on the participant list. So 
I don't know how the hell it works. YouTube, get your shit together. <laughs> Sorry, Dark Sagan. Dark Sagan, what's up? You're here. Uh, you get a you get a customized you get a Dark gets a, a special hello. Um, that's that's what it is. That's what YouTube's doing. It's making sure that I give you a, a specific hello. Uh, Billy DFPV, did you ever get anyone to print those parts for you? Not not quite yet, Billy D, but someone did. Uh, somebody did message me and I talked to them this morning and it was, God, I've talked to so many people already today. It was, um, no, well, it doesn't really matter to you guys. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, they're going to print them in red. So if anybody has, if anybody wants to TPU print something for me and they've got either purple or violet, um, I would really love violet. I think the violet would really um, look cool against the gray. Um, but yeah, if uh, if you've got violet or uh, purple, Saint's, well, I don't care if it's Saint Smart, Saint Smart, but, um, and you want to print something for me, hit me up, Seati FPV on Instagram, Facebook, uh, here on YouTube, and Patreon. Uh, message me somewhere, and yeah, I'll be your biggest fan for life. I'll give you a big shout out and uh that's about all i can offer <laughs> how many people are in the patreon uh asks fun with j pi i believe we're at 120 something uh if we can get to 200 i'm giving away another full build uh speaking of this is the full build that i gave away at 100 patrons finally 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 finished finally tuned um good to go i had some weird luck with this thing i i kept uh, trying to tune it and components kept failing, which kind of par for the course with micros, unfortunately. Uh, but I persevered. I put, <laughs> I put one new flight controller in it and then that one blew up. I think that one was my fault. Uh, and now I put a talent in it and it's good to go. <laughs> it didn't blow up. Um, got the tune all ready to go yesterday and today. And yeah, just got to find a box for this, package it up real nice. And this will be going out. So um, if you want a fully built rig for me, tell all your friends to become patrons. And when we get to 200, um, it, it's, it's not going to be a, a build identical to this. It'll just be a full build. Uh, not sure what that full build is going to be, but we'll figure that out when we get a little closer. Uh, oh, and, and since everybody, um, since I have a lot of cool shirts and everybody comments on them and loves them, uh, that at 200, I, when we hit 200, I will literally give the winner uh, the shirt off my back, uh, dirty and all smelly as shit, just like flies flying around it. Um, so yeah, as we get closer to 200 patrons, I won't be wearing the, the Miata shirts that I love so much like this one. I'll start wearing FPV shirts because you know, <laughs> I'm sure not many of you guys are as into Miatas as I am. <laughs> uh, Ben Watkins, what do you think of the CMW Bang God three inch frame as a brat alternative? Uh, well, to my knowledge, the Acrobrat is the only frame with, uh, the clean, dirty setup. And if I'm, if I'm really honest, the clean, dirty setup is kind of the only reason to run, in my opinion, at least is the only reason to run a three inch frame, uh, that's that heavy. Like it's, it's really the only big benefit uh, and, and I know that a lot of catalysts frames and, uh, who else's frames, um, catalyst and BQE, they both make very stout, but also a little heavy, uh, frames. And so uh, I just don't get it. Uh, um, uh, Flynosaurus also just came out with a, a three inch frame that's extremely heavy and I, yeah, I mean, if, if you've got the clean, dirty setup, it at least serves a purpose, all that extra weight. Uh, but without that, there's kind of no reason for in, f to, to go over like 30 grams for a three inch frame. Um, you just like, so we don't have micro motors that are smooth and also have a three inch, uh, three inch, three millimeter motor shaft. And as soon as a rig goods gets over about 210 or so grams, uh, the, the motors that we've got, the smooth motors that we have, by smooth, I mean not notchy. Um, the smooth motors that we've got have two millimeter motor shafts and they break like 
instantly, which is really the problem. Like that is the issue with these heavier three inch frames is that there aren't, there's not a good motor for them. Um, realistically, the only motors that you're going to want to run on them are the Emacs 1606, which has a three mil shaft and the, um, RC and power, uh, 1506, which also has a three millimeter shaft, but both of those motors are extremely notchy and because of the notchiness, they're really hard to tune. Um, the tune that you're, the best tune you're going to be able to get on them is not going to be all that great. And you're going to really deal with jello. Um, you're, you're going to have a really hard time with jello. And this is something that I've been fighting for over a year. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's a real thing. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm at the moment I'm working with Ryan Harrell from mini quad test bench and, um, one of our patrons crunked as well as Mark Spatz. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, it, it just notchy motors create too many vibrations and micro like smaller than five inch rigs already have a problem with vibrations in that beta flight has been designed around five inch rigs. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're in a bad situation where we, the, the firmware wasn't designed for us per se. And then you're going to put a super notchy, super vibrating motor on there. And it, it's just you know, it, you're, it just sucks. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, if we can get some 14 magnet motors or if, um, Ryan Harrell is, he's working with a, a motor manufacturer right now on skewing the stator. Uh, that's what Ryan thinks is going to be the fix for this. So potentially here moving forward, we might get some good options, but as it is right now, we kind of don't have any really good options. Um, so those heavier weight three inch frames, in my opinion, don't really have a home. Uh, if you never crash, then sure, it'll work for you. But if you never crash, why would you buy such a beefy, heavy frame, right? If you never crash, you should buy a lightweight frame. The whole point of these big, heavy, chunky ass frames is that they're strong and you, you can crash them. But if every time you crash, you're going to bend a motor bell, which has pretty much been my experience, what, like, right? What's, what's this heavy duty frame doing for you? It's just making the situation worse, right? Because it's putting more force into the motors when they smash into the ground. So uh, I'll leave it there. I could rant and scream and piss and moan about that for the entire stream, to be honest, because it drives me crazy that, <sighs> never mind. I'm going to get back into it. <laughs> If I finish that sentence, meet quad fairy. What is up? Oh no, it's meet wad fairy. Oh man, I thought it was meet quad fairy. Go change that. It's better meet quad fairy. Um, <laughs> now meet wad fairy is good. What's up, man? How are you? Free lojo. Good sticking to your guns on the HGRC thing and the shirt thing. Uh, thanks, brother. Uh, thanks for saying sticking to your guns rather than saying what it really is. This is good being a stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, License to Drive says, recommended FPV backpack. I've got the Low Pro that everybody has. Uh, what is it? Quad Guard BPX3. Um, friend of mine, uh, Brad McManus, McManus FPV. Go check his channel out. He's a great pilot up in New Jersey. Um, he got that for me when it was uh, on Super Duper Discount last Christmas. They were blowing these out for like 60 bucks. If you can find this bag for 60 bucks, buy a, a fucking dozen of them. <laughs> Um, it is such a good bag for $60. Uh, I would probably not pay $200 for it. Uh, if I was going to spend 200 bucks, I would probably get Steele's bag. Um, I know the love and care that he put into designing that bag. And I know, um, oh, who did he make it with? Uh, Think Tank, I believe. I believe he made it with Think Tank and they make unbelievable bags. Uh, the, and then the other option, of course, is the um, that everybody likes is the um, the Torval bag. Although I've heard a bunch of people complain about the outside of the Torval bag not being able to hold a whole lot of quads. Um, and for me, that would be an issue because when I go to fly, I've got two or three five-inch rigs and then another one or two micros. Uh, so for me, it, it really helps to have... Uh, on that, on the outside of this low pro bag, I can put like, I can put five rigs really comfortably. I could probably put like seven or eight if I really crammed them in there. Uh, so yeah. All right. 
Uh, what else do we have? Drone pilot. We have restrictions removed in Australia, and I've been cleared by testing results, so I'm free to go out and fly again. Saves me trying to fly seven inch inside because of boredom. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm glad that you'll not die, drone pilot, because a seven inch rig inside uh, is a fucking scary thing. <laughs> Jesus. Stock Racing Club says super hello. Super hello to you back, Stock Racing Club. William Barlow, have you flown the micro source from TBS? I'm not wondering if it's as tough as its bigger brother. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the Source 1 is a pretty gnarly frame, so uh, I would have uh, a lot of confidence in that, but it's it's tough. Uh, like those LEDs on the Tiny Trainer, I will soon enough. I've got full-size um, Tiny's LEDs, uh, LED race wires, so the arms should light up pretty bright on that guy. Uh, Billy DFPV says, I've got some bright purple stuff. I could give it a go. Awesome, big, uh, oh, big, great. Awesome, Billy T. Uh, message me somewhere and I will send you a link. Much appreciated. Uh, Rusty Signal, what is up, brother? Rusty and I and uh, Patrick were just out flying at the, um, the Verizon building down the road for me here. We got kicked out of there. We went next door uh, to the spot with the big long tree tunnel that you guys have seen before. So that was a blast. Good little session for sure. Uh, Drone Pilot says, do you have the STL files? I have a printer that prints all types of materials. Uh, the, the STL files are on Thingiverse. And um, yeah, if you want to give it a shot, Drone Pilot, uh, shoot me a message. I'll send you the, the link to the... Uh, I, I don't know if... Um, uh, so I was sent the link to the Thingiverse uh, privately. Uh, I, I don't... I don't even know if there is a way to have stuff set private on Thingiverse, but I, I just don't want to go blasting the link out in, in the universe when there's the potential that they don't necessarily want me to. Um, so, yeah, message me and uh, and I'll send you the link. Killer B, about to smash some LRM babies in MechWarrior Online. <laughs> nice, man. Fun with JPI. What's the difference between iFlight SL6, SL5, and SL5-E. My guess would be that the dash E has eco motors. Uh, that's certainly what the what the dash E seems to stand for. So here I'm opening up the SL5 and the, or the SL5-E and then let me search for the SL5. Where is it? No, I can only seem to find the SL5E. So maybe they discontinued the SL5. Oh, wait, no, here, hold on. Is this it on iFlight's site? Yeah, here it is. So, Sador SL5, let me just scroll down a little bit and look at the motors. Or not, because there's no inf. Oh, here we go, here we go. Show more. Uh, herpa derpa 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 derpa. Zing camo. No, they're not eco motors. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is. I would uh, shoot iFlight a message and be like, yo, mates, what's the difference? The the E is a little bit more expensive, so I guess the E has something that the, the non-E doesn't. Yeah, I don't I don't really uh, have any kind of a feel for iFlight's uh, product line, unfortunately. But uh, Leviathan says, hello, what's up to you? Mr. Shady, does Toilet Tank have benefits on Whoops? Uh, it's a really good question. I would love to know the answer, and now you're making me want to test for the answer. Um, so here's what I would do. I would actually message SR13. Let's give SR13 a shout out because my God, does he deserve it. SR13 FPV, in my opinion, is the best freestyle whoop pilot in the world. And uh, also a really cool guy. Um, his name is Sebastian. And uh, if you message him, he will probably get back to you. He's always gotten back to me. Um, there's SR13's channel. Here's what his channel looks like. Uh, I haven't actually had a chance to watch this yet. Here's what you got with SR13. Look at this. Woo! Woo! What you know about that? Look at him. Crushing it in the go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shoot SR a message. Um, I, I don't have enough time on Tiny Whoops to really be able to um, make that uh, 
assertion that one of them is better than the other. Uh, like I said, you are making me really want to test it, but even if I do test it, I'll bet you I won't be able to tell a difference. Um, but Sebastian spends enough time flying whoops that he's probably either already done it before or he might be interested to test it too. Um, but yeah, SR is a phenomenal pilot. We got one minute till the giveaways. So you guys got a link to SR's channel. Check him out. Go sub to him for sure. And um, yeah, man. You can thank me later. What radio system do you use? Uh, Tyrannus QX7 with uh, a micro crossfire in the back. There it is. And here are Tweet FPV's. Uh, grip tape transmitter grips. This is the super deluxe Ciotti FPV purple and red editions here. Uh, he also makes them in red, and I think he might have another couple colors. Um, but yeah, uh, speaking of, uh, we'll do some shout outs because I didn't forget, but I just didn't do them yet. <laughs> Tweet FPV is sponsoring our. Um, uh, Tweet FPV is sponsoring our uh, super chat giveaways. Uh, every week. So Tweet FPV has basically become our channel's first legit sponsor. Um, so thanks for that, Dan. Very, very cool of you. Uh, every single Super Chat giveaway, Tweet is, uh, I mean, until it becomes financially reckless for him, uh, he is giving away a set of these, uh, the transmitter grip tape uh, in your color of choice. I personally like my super secret limited edition one, but if you just want them in black, you can do that too. Uh, so yeah, somebody will get to win that in a little bit here when we get to that fourth giveaway. Um, we've also got BMC 3D, that's Brent. He makes the best TPU on the net. Check him out, BMC 3D. Stan FPV was kind enough to send over some ducks for me to try and they were fucking awesome. Um, so if you wanna convert one of your non Cinewoops into a Cinewoop, there you go. Stan FPV will hook you up. Uh, the FPV Geek is Ron DeLeos' little company, and they make just a switch. J-A-S. Uh, my goggles are plugged in over there, but it is an on-off switch for the side of your goggles, which you wouldn't think is such a great thing to have, but after having used it for a while, it's absolutely indispensable. The whole plugging and unplugging thing is is silly. Um, so yeah, J-A-S is what you can search for. Uh, he's selling them through Pyrodrone and Race Day Quads. Uh, so I don't know why I just threw a third finger up, but yeah, check that out. Uh, this one says for rectal use only, and this one says super deluxe because he sent me a bunch of his stickers for fun and I've been sneaking them in the giveaway bags. And then last but not least, the old FPV cycle sticker. This is Bob Ruge's company, Kebab FPV. Uh, if you need anything toothpick related, get your ass over here. Don't buy clones, buy the original toothpick, TP3 and the baby tooth. There you guys go. Those are the stickers that I have. Uh, honorable mentions that I don't have stickers for. Emacs uh, is on board. Uh, we're going to do a, a mailbag as soon as the giveaways are done. And there's something really cool in there that uh, I don't know if... Um, they didn't send me an NDA about it. so And they didn't mention that I shouldn't talk about it with anyone. So I'll show it to you guys. Do me a favor and don't rat me out, <laughs> if you don't mind. Um, but if I do get ratted out, I guess at least they'll um, they'll hopefully slap me on the wrist and I won't do it again. Uh, so yeah, Emacs um, uh, Get FPV also did a couple months of uh, fifty dollars gift certificates. So huge shout out to Get FPV. They're my favorite U.S. Um, stateside reseller. And um, also shout out to Heads Up FPV, uh, f uh, five, uh, oh God, what is it? 530, 30, 33, 30, 35, 3, 533, 33, 5, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Patreon, okay. Oh, uh, FPV Therapy is a Facebook group, 533, that's it, Jesus. Uh, FPV Space Therapy, search Facebook for that. Uh, lots of us in there with mental illness issues, just trying to get better all day, every day. Uh, so join us, one in four, one in five people have mental illness issues, so somebody in your life's got it. Yeah, I'm trying to get through everything just for... <laughs> Um, somebody in your life has got it. The more you know, the nicer you'll be, and I can't tell you how much they'll appreciate it. Okay, giveaways, here we go. Giveaways are now closed. If you join Patreon um, in 
10 seconds from now. I won't get you in on tonight's wheel, but that's okay because you'll get on the next four weeks wheel starting with next week. So let me go here and I have to refresh these Patreon tabs here to make sure I capture anybody who just joined. And okay, good to go. Uh, while I'm doing this, now that I have two monitors again, yeah! Um, <laughs> let me give you guys something to, uh, to take a look at. So one of the other perks of the Patreon page is I've got a post in there called something. Patron Pilot Spotlight. There it is. There's the post. So in this Patron Pilot Spotlight, you can drop a link to uh, your favorite uh, of your own videos with a time code. I'm only going to show like, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to show the full video. So drop a time code if you don't mind, and then I'll put that up. Basically what I do is I put one of these on while I'm organizing the, um, uh, the Patreon shit and getting it on the wheels. Uh, so, I believe the last person that I showed in here was Cage. I believe it was Cage, and I left off with Big Willie. So I'm going to grab Big Willie, I'm going to drop him in here. William DeVries, congratulations, you're going to be on next week. Um, but yeah, let's check out Big Willie right now. And what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? There we go. Computering is hard, guys. It's very hard when you're 39 years old. Woo! Getting buzzed in a field. I have not seen this. All right. Let's watch some Big Willy FPV. And I will get the patron stuff going. And you guys can get buzzed in a field on a Monday. Let's make sure this is working right. I'm going to kill my mic so that I can scream and yell all I want. Be back in a minute.
There it is, people. The biggest of willies. Let me hit you guys with his uh, a link to his channel so that you can go sub and show some love. There you guys go. Big Willie. Good flying, brother. I didn't see much of it, admittedly, but a good jam. And I saw in the corner of my eye that you were wiggling them sticks. And fuck, that's what it's all about, man. That's all I'm doing, too. All right. <laughs> I got these. Uh, I got everything going here. Let's go and spin some goddamn wheels. <laughs> uh, Big Willie FPV says my iFlight IH three V three frame is forty two grams grams and not so strong. I've broken it once. Well, that blows. Free Lojo says uh, it's it's not being stubborn when it comes to quality and customer service. Hell yeah, man. Uh, Rollin Carter says CID FPV. Oh, what radio system? We talked about that. Uh, on my, oh, to expand on that, uh, on my whoops, I just use, uh, not whoops, but on micros, I just use the, uh, the, the 2.4 link with like RXSRs and, and XM pluses and whatever I got laying around. And then all of my five inch rigs are on crossfire with the crossfire uh, micro module. All right. Tiago says the SL5 E is the Nazgul 5 to be sold outside Banggood. There you go. There's your answer, Tiago. Thanks for that, brother. The collective at work. Uh, we call ourselves the collective because of the Borg and because we be hive mind and shit like a motherfucker in here. So, um, you know, I, I know a lot, but I'll never know everything. And uh, you guys fill in the gaps and we all get our answers. And yeah. Uh, fun with J-Pie has been flying Mobula 6 for a while and feels ready to move up. Should I go to a 3-inch or a 5-inch for freestyle? Um, my opinion is to go to a 3-inch rig because I, it, there's just so much responsibility with 5-inch rigs and you can like really hurt someone um, or hurt something. Uh, whereas with a 3-inch rig, and you have to like go out to fly it, right? Like you can't really realistically fly it around your house um, without killing your neighbors or pissing off your neighbors at the very least uh so yeah three inch rigs for me uh are just kind of perfect the perfect to learn on you can just walk right outside and fly them around you get a lot of stick time in um you can bash into your car and not send it through the windshield uh, yeah uh so that's that's what i think a lot of other folks say screw it just go directly to a five inch rig if you've got a spot to fly five inch rigs really close to your house sure um because then you can get a good amount of flight time in uh, but I still say three inch meat wad fairy. The low pro quad bags, uh, are also great that they are all the low pros bags are great. Um, I've used low pro, uh, camera bags for 15 plus years and I've yet to have one let me down. Uh, drone pilot. Ha I have both Zing E and non E versions. The difference is the new design, but the specs are the same. They fly the same, feel the same. Um, the big difference between the Zing E and non E is the, uh, uh, steel shaft motor shaft versus titanium motor shaft and that's pretty much the difference with whenever you see a $25 motor you're paying for the titanium motor shaft whenever you see a motor that's less than 20 bucks you're paying less because there's no titanium motor <laughs> right so th that's really the difference there um ranflin diaz new to the hobby starting with the tiny hawk 2 rtf kit Ran uh, ranflin that is perfect that is going to be a beautiful um, rig to learn on get as many batteries as you can and just fly the shit out of it the biggest thing for this hobby is just stick time um, so just get the stick time in dude just get batteries get chargers get a little um, a little system going for yourself so you can fly for like an hour straight and just put the time in uh, Tiago said oh yeah 533 perfect and airbender loves his just a switch as well he should um, oh hey hold on Vivian uh, from T-Motor is messaging me, and it's potentially about the uh, T-Motor F40 Pro 4s. So, and I want to I want to give you an answer on this. Oh, she's asking about fixed wing. Uh, all right, I'll at least get back to her quick. Um, so, for you guys, uh, the reason why I paused to do that is. Uh, and, and so for anybody that's, that's thinking about, you know, anybody that's getting good, that's getting to the point where they're thinking about sponsorship, um, understand that all of these manufacturers are over uh, in a completely different time zone. And uh, the, they... Uh, fixed wings. Yeah. 
so if you were, so it's 1044 at night, right? But it's their work day. So if you expect to, to like maintain a relationship with any of these guys, iFlight, T-Motor, um, understand that if they message you at 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night, you got to get back to them. Um, most people don't get back to them quickly. And I've had almost all of the, the, the manufacturers that I've talked to when I get back to them right away, they're like, Oh my God. Wow. And they'll like, thank me. They'll like, you know, Oh, thank you so much for getting back to me real quick. That, and so, yeah, there's a tip for you guys. If, if at some point you're going to be, uh, chasing down sponsorships. So, okay. Big Willie, you're welcome. Well deserved. Roscoe Sticks says, "Good evening. Good evening to you, Roscoe Sticks." Uh, KJFPV just did a hover test on the Gecko. It's alive. Motor's getting a little toasty. Any advice there? Uh, but I'm so happy, my man. Uh, Cage, message me the the setup. I need to know what those uh, motors are and, and some other stuff. So just shoot me a message um, with the uh, the setup, and we'll get it going. And Jafar wants to see the crane at it again. Jafar, you're gonna have to wait. I'll put it up. Uh, I'll put it up tomorrow so that everybody can see it. Okay. Giveaways, let's do them. Pull them over onto the main screen here, and we're gonna make it big, and we're gonna do a thing in a place. First up, Tiny Whoop and Toothpick uh, giveaway, and I lost the prize. Where the hell did it go? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Hold on, hold on. I threw them up on the table, and then I forgot them. This is going to be a set of four RC and Power 1202 7500 kV motors. There they are. It's not going to focus properly, but it's just a little package. Um, so yeah, a full set. Oh, uh, so this month, May, uh, for my giveaways, is Motor Mayhem. See what I did there? May, ham, motor, motor mayhem. You know what I mean? Like motors in May. Pretty clever, huh? I didn't come up with that. <laughs> one of you guys did. Um, so yeah, I know there's only three in here, but the fourth one is, is floating around here somewhere. Um, so there's going to be a set of toothpick motors, 1202, 7500 kV. Uh, I guess these would be good on like a 1S or a 2S. Uh, I'm not a toothpick guy, but uh, yeah, these are the, the these motors uh, Kebab loves, so I know they're good. So let's spin the wheel, 1202, 7500s. Uh, here is your proof of entry coming up. There you go, first page. You guys can rewind in the screen, in the stream, so if you want to check to make sure you're on the list, all you got to do is rewind real quick, but wait, let me spin the wheel first. And there you go. There's the full list. And why is... Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, so yeah, there's the full list. Here comes the wheel. That's how we do it around here. Oh, wait, I don't have the, uh, the my cam up. All right. We'll be better the next time. Who's it going to be? It's yellow. Whoever's in yellow. Mikhail Backstrom, a first-time winner. Mikhail, thank you. Uh, let me do the thing and the place. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'm going to use the computer instead of handwriting it down. And I'm just going to send myself an email. How about that for, for the OG nonsense? Uh, so what's today? Today is 511 giveaways. And with the uh, 11, or no, no, 1202s, uh, 7500s, M I K A E L B A C K S T R O M. Mikhail, I will message you on Patreon. Thanks for being a patron. It paid off, see that? Uh, all right, so next up we've got the three inch micro brushless tier, uh, which is the tier that I am waiting on motors for. Um, so I, I don't know when those are going to show up, but just for in the interim, uh, we're just going to say that tonight's gift <laughs> is a uh, Runcam Racer 3. Uh, it might be a Racer 2. Runcam Racer 2 uh, in black. And I'm even going to throw in a goddamn. Uh, uh, remote <laughs> because they don't come with remotes anymore they expect you to hook it up to your flight controller and do camera control through that I'm not into that so run cam racer 2 possibly maybe motors <laughs> depends on when they show up so but for right now we'll just say run cam racer 2 here comes that wheel 
I'm gonna push this button. Now I've got the camera up. You guys can see me do the goat impression. Let's scroll down. Here is your proof of entry into the three inch micro brushless wheel. There you go. Next page. There you go. Rewind it if you wanna check. Please don't ask me. Spinning the wheel. Can you tell I've done that once or twice before? Who's it gonna be? I think it's gonna be Tim Karsten. I was way off. It's Daniel Maurer winning two weeks in a row. Daniel, congratulations. Uh, you're getting yourself a run cam racer too in black. Daniel is one of our uh, moderators. So kind of a, a perfect person to win since he's in here doing work for nothing. Him, Tiago, a bunch of other folks. Uh, huge thanks to them as always so this is going to be run cam racer 2 and it's going to daniel mauer awesome oh no there's an extra r in there m-a-u-r-e-r -E all right cool on to the five inch tier giveaway that was a weird inflection that i just put on it and that is going to be a set of five because i want you to fly these hard as hell emax rs2 2306, 2600 KV. Uh, these are the motors that Travis uh, Gappet runs, so they must be good. Uh, I've never personally run these RX2s I'm, or RS2s. I'm a uh, T motor kind of guy. Uh, but yeah, these are supposedly really good motors, and you're going to get five, so you can bash the living shit out of them. Let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be my dad, Papa Ciotti. No, it's Oscar Zeladin getting it in. Oscar, I will message you on the Patreon page to get your info. Although I, my, I may very well have a package that's about to go out that I can sneak this into. Uh, so these are Emacs RS2306, which is my favorite motor size, 2600 kV. Uh, I don't think Travis runs the 2600 KV, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll give him a pass on that. <laughs> All right, cool. And then Super Chat giveaway is coming up now. So here's how the Super Chat gives, uh, giveaway works. I show you guys what it is. I set a buy-in price, and then if you want to get in on the giveaway, you uh, do a Super Chat for that amount. I put you on the wheel, and away we go. Uh, the secret... Uh, the, the super secret to this is you can enter as many times as you want. So if I set the price at, at, at $10, if you do 20 bucks, I'll put you on the wheel twice, 30 bucks, three times four, so on and so forth. Um, but hold on, I haven't set the price yet. So first and foremost, most importantly, it's going to be a set of these grips from Tweet FPV. You're just going to message Tweet. You're going to tell him that you won tonight's giveaway. I'm going to message him to tell, uh, with your name as well. Uh, and he's going to cut you a set of these grips for whatever radio. He makes these grips for um, any any radio you can possibly think of. Uh, you can get the Ciotti purple, or you can get the regular black, or he'll probably tell you what other colors he might have. Um, so that's one. That's the, that's the big gift. Uh, the stuff that I send out is just for funsies. Speaking of funsies, look at these goddamn things. I'm going to be giving away two sets of these for a long time. I found a whole bunch of these. And I bought a, a whole bunch. FPV is fun, so why not run the most ridiculous, silly, fun prop ever? Fair warning, if you run these plot props and blow up your ESC, it is not my fault. This is a very, very draggy prop. So understand that. Don't go, uh, maybe put a throttle curve on or chop the top of the throttle off. Or just don't use full throttle. Because, um, yeah. Yeah, these props are legit. So... Two sets of them, and then there's going to, whoo, it's about to fall off the desk. And then it's four sets of these brilliant T-Motor 5146s. Um, if you like pitchy props and if you like efficient props, oh my god, these are so good. Big power, big efficiency, really well balanced. Um, these are great. I'm, I'm a low pitch kind of guy, uh, which is why these are being given away. But man, they are nice. I really dig these. Um, so four sets of those, and then we're also going to do an awesome little Tiny's LEDs. That, I knew I missed somebody. Uh, Tiny's LEDs sent us a whole bunch, and by us I mean me, uh, a whole bunch of their uh, race wires and their standard three LED, uh, just feed them VBAT uh, LEDs. And I made a whole bunch of these little kits for you guys. They come with two full kits of race wires 
and uh, I want to say four of the regular little guys, and then I threw some some extra um, 20 gauge wire in a bunch of these as well. Um, so yeah, this is the other piece. So pretty good little giveaway, and uh, let's do four bucks. Let's do four dollar super chat gets you on the wheel. Eight bucks gets you on twice. You do the math after that. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> So $4 Super Chats will get you on the wheel. I'll put you guys on the wheel. We'll give it a couple minutes here uh, because of the delay. And then we'll spin the wheel and move on. Ten fifty four, Not bad. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss any questions while you guys are doing that. Uh, and Billy's saying thanks. Roscoe Sticks saying hello. Airbender FPV put his acrobat oh through a car oh I remember that through a car rear windshield um, maybe it'll make you feel a little bit better uh, I put mine into a uh, yesterday I put mine into a uh, an awning doing a big stupid backwards never mind uh, and I broke the frame so I get to tear the acrobat apart again. I shouldn't have. I, as I was doing it, I had the thought of like, this is the stupidest thing ever. Like it, it wasn't, uh, I, I just, uh, sometimes I just do dumb shit. Sometimes I just go for, I go for things that are like way outside of my skill level. Um, which like if, if you're in the middle of a big gnarly, um, you know, 30 second blast, it's one thing, but I was just, uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Alex Navarrete just got back from trying to fly his Ishin Novice 3. Didn't even get one pack in as the whip UFL antenna popped off into the grass. <laughs> oh, Alex, I wish I could tell you that it gets easier from here, but it unfortunately does not. Um, <laughs> so uh, here's what you want to do with UFL. Uh, you have to properly... It's It's got to have proper retention and uh let me show you how i do that Ugh. are you gonna be able to see in there i don't think you're gonna be able to so let me zip these uh let me zip these m3 screws off real quick here uh fire up the bench cam that should move my microphone over to it which is why i sound differently all of a sudden but that's okay you guys will live all right, so here's what you want to do. Uh, whenever you're using a UFL, you need to run shrink wrap. Man, this is going to be a bitch to show you. Uh, you got to try to run shrink wrap around that part of the VTX uh, so that you can, so that it will hold that UFL in. So you see, like, there's the top of the, uh, let me get a little pointer. There's the top of the, um, of the VTX. So I've run three, actually three bands of, um, of shrink wrap around there. Here, you might be able to see it under here a little bit better. Move some lights around here for you. There you go. There you can see it. Um, so yeah, you, the, you got to do something to hold those UFLs on. You can also use uh, welder contact cement. This stuff works really well. It's in a little red bottle. Here, hold on. Uh, here's one that's filled. Uh, this stuff is amazing. Uh, I prefer this on VTXs to hot glue because this stuff doesn't melt. Um, the hot glue doesn't fully melt, but it gets kind of soft from the heat of the VTX. So I prefer this welder stuff. Um, but yeah, you got to do something. UFLs are a real pain in the ass until you shrink wrap them on and then they're just like awesome and, and you just will not really have many problems. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a UFL unplug or break, and uh, that's like the thing that everybody complains about with them. So, yeah, start doing uh, UFL retention, and you will be golden, my man. Uh, so, let me scroll down in the chat, because the Super Chats are probably just about slowing down. We can get this last giveaway knocked out, and then we will do mailbag because i got three packages behind me one of which i'm so fucking excited about that i truly can't believe i saved it for you guys you should be you, you all should be very proud of me 
I used self-restraint. I didn't just go ripping these three boxes open. And uh, we will get to experience the next Emacs uh, ready to fly that will be reviewed by your boy, CLT FPV. Just putting these screws back in here so I don't lose them. And all right, cool. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Let's come back to this camera. Uh, what XT 64s charger do you recommend? Asks Big Taters. Um, <laughs> it's a good name. Big Taters. Go to uh, Joshua Bardwell's uh, uh, website. That's who I just refer to his website for charging uh, stuff for myself. Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, uh, F, uh, fuck. What's his website? FPV Know It All. Just go to Google and search search for FPV Know It All. Uh, and you'll find his channel. He's got a charger section in there. Uh, I've got an ISDT charger that sucks a big bag of dick, so I, I can't really recommend uh, the ISDT Q6 to you. Uh, but, yeah, uh, um, uh, Joshua has done a lot of testing on chargers, uh, and I've just struggled with this one for the better part of two years. <laughs> so don't take advice from me on chargers. Ranflin Diaz, any goggles under $300 USD with DVR to record my files? Um, Ranflin, I'm not the best guy to ask about goggles. I've only ever had a $60 set of Isheen VR007 Pros, and then I went directly to a set of Fat, Sh Fat Shark HD3s. Uh, so, uh, you'd, I would actually probably also hit Joshua's site. He does a lot of goggle testing. Um, or look for, I think that HD3s used are the best deal in goggles right now. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if you could find a set of HD3s with a module um, under your budget. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be my recommendation right there. Fun with JPI. Is there a certain 3-inch that is low budget but still performs well? Uh, fun with JPI. Are you talking about like a ready to fly or are you looking to build one? Um, tag me again and answer that question and we'll move forward. Ask your, copy and paste your question again for me though, because by the time I get there, I'll forget what it was. Uh, Roscoe Six got his laptop Saturday. Awesome. I expect to see some edits. Airbender FPV says his gap, it's still flying. Haven't seen anything from him in a while. Uh, he is Airbender. He works for a company that does, um, cinematic drone work. So most of his time is spent doing that, but he does still fly. Uh, do, 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 do. Tiago says that's old school. I'm not sure what he was talking about. Uh, maybe my face. Cage FPV says pretty sure Cage was missing from the three inch tier. I checked the names but couldn't see him. All right, let me double check. Uh, three inch tier and KGE. Nope, not on there. Let's see why. Uh, all right. Oh, what are you guys on? uh on patreon three inch tier is here 10 to 19 dollars and uh you guys aren't on there so something must have happened on patreon uh so jump on patreon see what th they might maybe they didn't automatically bill you or something like that um let me know if it's still jacked up we'll fix it all right here we go. Dark Sagan with the first $4 super chat. This means I need to do some work and start typing. Here we go. Dark Sagan. I spelled that correctly. Oh my God. Uh, let's come over here with it. Let's come over here. There we go. All right. Yeah, boy, it is next. B O Y D. And then we've got Solo FPV. Coming in with an entry. Big Willie with an $8. Oh, look at Big Willie. Look at these, these generous bastards that hang out in this channel. Big Willie FPV is sending eight bucks, two entries for Roscoe Sticks. Look at your boy, Big Willie. Roscoe Sticks. No, it's X. Oh, nope. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got I I can't spell and and speak at the same time. <laughs> I didn't have a speaking spell. I was <laughs> when I was a kid, I guess. Hector Johnson with eight bucks getting in there twice. Thank you, Hector. Thanks to everybody getting in on this. 
Alright, Hector Johnson. Let me copy and paste. There you are, two times. Crunk says, did you see their response about the carbon? I did. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, seemed like a cop-out to me. Yeah, I thought so too, but then he sent me a picture that I'll show you guys. Uh, we meant to, but we will change next time so we don't get many questions. Uh, uh, Rotten Tomato says, what if it's on a stack? I'm not sure what you're referring to, uh, Rotten Tomato. It, uh, yeah, let me know what you're referring to, Rotten Tomato, because that sounds like an interesting question. FPV Trucker is next. FPV Trucker getting in. Thank you for the four, sir. Really FPV with 9.99, which gets him two and a half entries. So really FPV, I'm going to put you on the wheel twice. If you send another two bucks, I'll put you on a third time. If not, I will take those $2 and I'll buy the world's cheapest beer. How about that? Really FPV, FPV once, and really FPV twice. All right. And cage FPV with 10 A dollars. So I'm going to assume A is Australian. And my understanding of the exchange rate is that Australia is a little higher, which means that that should be two entries, I think, right? Maybe? Given really FPV a second or two in case he wants to get on the wheel a third time. Anybody else that wants to get in, hop in right now because I'm about to close it down and spin Zeveal. While I'm waiting, let me look up Australian dollars. Australian to U.S. currency. And we're going to go... Oh, damn! Really, FPV is in it to win it tonight. He's going to have five entries, I th think. I did that math way wrong, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, I did that math right. <laughs> Um, okay, wait, here we go. Uh, Australian 10 equals... Uh, yeah, yeah, close enough. Cool. <laughs> so, Cage, you're on there twice. Really, FPV is getting in here five times, so let me do that. We got him one, two. Uh, we'll, put them, we'll put them next to next to each other. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then I got to put Cage back on here twice because I wanted to get all five of Really's next to each other. Because that's kind of the point of doing a whole bunch, is that you take over half of the goddamn wheel, and then you're either delighted when you win, or extra pissed off when you lose. Airbender getting in with $9.99, going for that two and a half entry life. Airbender, if you send another two, I'll put you on a third time, but for right now I'm going to put you on twice. Airbender FPV, copy, paste, he's in twice. Monkey Shine is, is just... Monkey Shine's getting real. Let's just let's just stop and talk about Monkey Shine for a minute. He's gonna win. <laughs> Monkey Shine is gonna make me do the math too, and I I don't think the math is gonna end up even. I don't think thirty is divisible by four. I did did I say four bucks? I didn't say five bucks, did I? <laughs> I hope I said four bucks. All right. Monkey Shine's making me do some math. I'm going to use the calculator because I have zero confidence in my math ability. 30 divided by 4 equals 7.5 entries. So Monkey Shine is getting put on the wheel 7 effing times. And Airbender's getting put on there one more time with an additional 199. Um, by the time I got get done typing this, it's, it's closed. It's closed. No more. Um, so if you want to get in last second, you better hurry. Uh, Monkey Shine FPV. I can actually highlight. Oh, look at that. I can copy and paste names. I am a fancy son of a bitch. So we're going to go one. We're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mondo getting in. Tell me to check my Instagram messages. Um, Mondo, you need me to do that right now or tonight? Mondo FPV is on the wheel. And you know what, Monkey Shine? I'm going to put you in there one more time just because you're an awesome dude. Um, and because it means a lot for you to support me with 30 bucks, and that's just amazing. So there you go, Mondo FPV. So that's the secret, guys. If you want a free entry or two, just, just do like a $30 super chat, and then... <laughs> All right, we're good. We're, we're closed, closed out. Uh, Jeff Freestyle 
uh, says me. What's me? <laughs> Jeff Freestyle. I guess he just came in. Um, we're doing the Super Chat giveaway for a bunch of propellers, a set of uh, grip tape transmitter grips, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, Tiny's LEDs, and... Um, oh, 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 thanks. Uh, thanks for the two more for really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I think I... No, wait. Uh, so yeah, it's a $4 super chat, Jeff, if you want to get in, uh, but you got to hurry. Uh, really FPV, let me make sure I got you down for the right number. Uh, okay, one, so, oh no, 10, 20, buy some beer, nice, thanks really. <laughs> and, oh damn, really is getting in, alright, so two, two $30 players, ooh, shit, shit, son. Let's get really fixed here. And I'm going to move you to the bottom uh, of the wheel so I can put all of yours next to each other, really. So, um, okay, so I'm going to put you on eight times, just like I did with Monkey Shine. All right, really, FPV, copy, and we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, why did it skip? That was weird. Uh, all right. Is that the right number of times? I hope so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then monkey shine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, cool. We're good. Unless Jeff sneaks in at the last second. Ranflin sneaks in at the last second. Tweet, what is up? We are doing the super chat giveaway right now. Tweet. Oh, nice, nice. I'm going to see if I can, uh, I'm going to try to build it here, but we're uh, we're losing time. It's 10 after 11. Who did I say? Ran Flynn. Ran Flynn. So let's get this rolling. Uh, what happened there? No, I, I put that in the wrong spot. Okay, here we go. That's better. Ran Flynn is in. Closed. Closed. Applying wheel changes. Uh, I gotta do advanced options, big wheel, 1200 pixels, and I hope you guys are ready, because it's coming, god damn it, it's coming for you. Here's the wheel, here are all the entries, one page, two pages, there you guys go, are you ready? I hope you're ready, you better be ready. The wheel spins. Who shall it be? Is it going to be really? Is it going to be Monkey Shine? It's going to be Monkey Shine. Look at that. Monkey Shine FPV getting the job done with the $30 super chat. Uh, Monkey Shine, you've got some work to do, my man. Uh, you've got to message Tweet FPV and tell him that you won. I'm sure he just saw that you won. Uh, you need to send him your first and last name, your address, uh, what color you want, what transmitter you've got. Uh, throw your email address in there, maybe even your phone number in case he wants to do the tracking stuff. And then you got to do the same thing with me. <laughs> I'm going to ship the stuff from here. Tweet is going to cut them and ship them from his, uh, his spot. So yeah, hit the two of us up. You can hit me, uh, at Ciati FPV at Facebook or Instagram. Um, I wouldn't leave a comment here on YouTube that I might not see that. Um, so just do Facebook or Instagram, hit me up. Uh, and let me know those same things. Uh, tell me that you won tonight's giveaway with the uh, with the six blade props, uh, the tiny LEDs, and the uh, T motor fifty one forty sixes. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna write. Also mention that you're Monkey Shine FPV. That's important too. Uh, I'm gonna put in here super chat, which is. Uh, T motor 5146, six blade, five inch, and tiny's LEDs. Awesome. And I, it would help if I actually did the thing I needed to do, which is type monkey shine FPV. Uh, for anybody that's won the super chat giveaways that hasn't gotten their stuff yet, uh, do me a favor and just message me again. And, uh, I do have a bunch of stuff that's waiting to ship, but, uh, yeah, just, just message me just to kind of make sure. Cause there has been one that the person never got in touch with me. Uh, and I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So there you guys go. 
giveaways are done. It's time for mailbag. And I'm going to type out, it's not, it's not MAI mailbag. It's like this. Mailbag. I just typed it. Mail bag. See what I did there? Mail. Like your ball. Don't say it. Don't say the whole word. As long as you don't say the whole word, then it's not gross. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss any chats, and then we'll do mailbag. Shopping list from Joshua said Ranflin. Ranflin, you can't uh, post links, um, but his shopping list is amazing. Meatwad Fairy, have you used uh, Venom chargers? I haven't, um, but my buddy Jonathan Schizo has, and he's had Venom chargers forever and loves them and swears by them. Uh, I have two pro quads. They're pretty amazing and totally worth it. Nice. Well, there we go. Schizo and Meatwad Fairy are both Venom fans. Take that as a... <laughs> fans of Venom. Snake Venom, you know, whatever. Charger Venom, it's all the same. Mr. Shady, do you use 20x20 20 20 stacks on 5-inch or stick to 30 millimeter? I use 20x20 20 20 flight controllers. I use 30x30 30 30 ESCs. Uh, I do, I am building a lightweight glide over here at some point uh, with a 20x20 20 20 Akon, uh, AK32 ESC. I mean, it's technically a 20x20, 20 20, but it's not that much smaller than a 30x30, 30 30, so... Uh, Rotten Tomato, what if is on a stack? I was asking about the UFL connect. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Um, Tiago linked these UF. Oh, yeah, yeah. The UFL lock is super interesting. Um, so yeah, I would try those UFL lock antennas or just use a big fuck off blob of, um, uh, of welder. I would actually do the welder to be honest, uh, like just right away. And, and just in general, it's, I, sometimes I'll even put the welder below, the the shrink wrap um yeah can't, can't I, as far as i'm concerned you can't hold the ufl on with enough shit because they just pop off so easily uh fun with jpi is there a certain three inch this oh okay um uh i'm fine with building or pre-built so if you're fine with building uh jpi uh, down below in the description, I haven't mentioned this yet because I'm a terrible streamer, uh, there are affiliate links, and those affiliate links are for only the gear that I use and love. Um, I, it, My wife and I live on a budget with pretty much everything, and so when I look at gear to use for myself, it's almost always the, not the cheapest gear, um, but certainly not the most expensive gear, and it, it tends to be like, it's not in the middle either. It tends to be towards the cheaper side of things. Um, so, yeah, when you're looking in my description, all of that stuff is pretty much what I've found to can hold up with a lot of abuse, is fairly inexpensive, um, and just they all sort of work together really well too. So, um, yeah, scroll down, rip through my descriptions, and then if you have any questions, message me and we can spec the whole build out. Um, speaking of specking builds out, that's one of the things that we do over on Patreon. Um, so for, I, I've realized that I need to mention Patreon a couple, more than once per stream since people come in like halfway through. So uh, yeah, if you want more build planning, more support for me, whatever, uh, Patreon page linked down below, head on over there, three bucks to get in the door, three bucks a month. And uh, yeah, I try to stay on top of my Patreon messages more than anything else, more than uh, Facebook, more than Instagram, um, because the folks on Patreon are the folks that are supporting me and growing this insane little um, thing that we've got going on here and with the collective. So there you go. Uh, let's do some mailbag. I need a song. I need a mailbag song. I think there is one. They So I stole mailbag from uh, Jimmy Kimmel, actually, uh, and Adam Carolla. Um, what was the name of the show? I was just about to say the name of the show, and it just... Uh, God damn it, what was the name of the show? Um, Ace, yeah, Man Show, that's it, good call, Rotten. Ace, yeah, that, was, uh, that sucked when Ace died. Uh, so I typed mailbag into YouTube, and it's just showing me bags for men. <laughs> What if I type in mailbag song? Um, I think that was from the man show, right? Back me up, you old, you fellow old bastards. Was mailbag in, in the man show? Oh, it was mail time. Where the fuck was mailbag from? Mailbag was from something. All right, there's no good mailbag songs, but let's just do it. <laughs> 
Let's just go for it. Uh, so I need to take... Uh, I got 18,000 things on top of one another. Let's go here. And we're going to point this at the floor. Um, yeah, mailbag... The, the show that I'm thinking of that had mailbag... It was, it was from the Gunny Show. Yeah, 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 the Gunny Show, right? Yeah. And he had like a picture of a, like a bull scrotum and that is the logo for Mailbag. All right, maybe, maybe I'm just making that up, but. Uh, all right, let me go crawl around the floor for a little bit. Let me kick this room light on. That should give us a little bit more jam here. All right. Ugh. So, we'll save the Emacs package for last because I'm probably going to lose my fucking mind when I open that. Um, because I am really excited about it, as I've mentioned. But first, let's go uh, tinyloop.com. This is actually, um, I'm looking forward to this one too. Because uh, there is some prototype stuff in here, believe it or not. And I have been waiting for this for a long time. So, uh, the backstory would be me chopping my leg off. Did you guys see that? I just cut right towards my leg. Don't do that, kids. That's how you ruin your pants. Um, so, these guys right here are prototype lower profile canopies for Tiny Whoops meant for the new Tiny Whoop Pinch Cam. Um, backstory being, FXT, FXT is a company that used to make the best uh, Tiny Whoop cameras, and then for whatever reason, they kind of stopped making them for a little bit, and then, um, well, it's not that they stopped making them, but I, I think they didn't like really keep up with with all the new cameras coming out, and and people just stopped sort of talking about FXT, uh, and but now um, Tiny Whoop Jesse Perkins has worked with them, so th they haven't had a camera with smart audio forever, um, and now they do. This is the Tiny Whoop Pinch Cam. Um, I think that this is going to be the best and the lightest of the uh, of the tiny. Oh, look at that! That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> that's a little um, a little glasses cleaner. The tiniest little glasses uh, lens cleaner ever. Um, so yeah, this is their new pinch camera. Um, it is much lower profile than their old camera. Uh, so they're uh, they're making a new canopy. And these are prototypes of that new canopy. And I'm super excited because this is all that I was missing to build the, what I hope to be, uh, kind of like the ultimate freestyle uh, uh, Tiny Whoop. It's got the lightest weight uh, one S board that, that exists, which apparently burns out all the time, uh, according to Kebab. So that'll be kind of interesting. And then um, this is going to be a test rig for a motor shootout. Uh, right now, it's got the Beta FPV 0802 22000s, which are a bearing motor, which is pretty rare for 0802s. Uh, I've also got a set of the iFlight 0802 22000s with bearings. And then I've also got the um, Happy Model 25000 kV motors, the ones off the crazy Mobula 6. Uh, that Those will be the third. Actually, you know, I'm not going to smack, I'm not going to test those. Um, I'm just going to test these against the iFlights because it, it won't be fair. 22,000 kV versus 25,000, um, uh, there, there will be no real comparison there. So, um, fuck yes, this is great. I'm, I'm super, super excited about that. Uh, I don't even remember what else I got. Here's some more of the 3D printed um, uh, uh, mounts for that, for that FXT uh, Tiny Whoop pinch camera. This is, oh, I'm actually weirdly excited about this too this is the little um tiny whoop uh, uh discharger this will discharge your little tiny uh 1s batteries down to uh 3.8 which is like uh, they it's it's harder to do like go try to try to bring all of your tiny whoop batteries down to 3.8 it's not an easy job um oh this is cool this is really nice i dig this especially because um, I am now running these expensive ass Nitro Nectar uh, 300 mAh Tiny Whoop batteries. Uh, these are seven bucks each, but the performance is absolutely outrageous. Um, these blow any other Tiny Whoop battery I've ever flown completely out of the water. 
they are a little bit heavier too, but my God, the amount of extra power they put out more than makes up for the weight. So, oh yeah, this is great. Great, great, great little invention. Uh, black Tiny Whoop sticker that I'm going to put on my bag. Uh, TVS Crossfire Nano. If you guys need any Crossfire Nanos, uh, tinywhoop.com has them in stock. This is a present for Kristen. Kristen, you want to come model your present? All right. What is that? Kristen's gonna put that on. What is that? <laughs> what is that? And oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't know, tinywoop.com sells like a half a dozen of different of these. Okay. Um, and four of the the BT 2.0 uh, Tiny Whoop batteries, the 333s. Oh yeah. Okay, great. That's a mosquito head net. And you gotta pull it down farther. It's for your whole no, it's for your whole head. For my whole head. Yeah, because okay. I don't want to hit you in the eye. Great. Okay. Oh, she's putting clothes on, right? She's over there. I'm cold too. She's it is fucking cold. Okay. Oh. It has been cold oh, lately. Is this? Yeah. Okay. I'll just show your head, don't worry. Oh, I don't care. Alright, hold on. I really don't care. Alright, come 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 care. come. Alright, I'll just give you guys a head. I don't I don't wanna be mean. There it is, there it is, guys. There she is. Look how stylish. What a dick. Look at that. <laughs> so there you go. All right. <laughs> no. I mean, it feels fine. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> you don't really notice it. Uh, a sour punch. There you go. Kristen loves gummies. If you guys ever want to send Kristen a uh, present, send her some gummies. Sour, gummy, anything. A couple tiny whoop stickers, and there's the last battery. This is ridiculous. That's for you, man. Don't leave it in what? here. Oh. That's for you. you got to keep it on the couch. Okay. Yeah. Um, the backstory there is uh, I've now gotten... No, just once, I guess. Not twice, right? Once was like a close call. Yeah, once, once was a really close call. And then the other time I got stuck. Yeah, and the other time I, I put a... Uh, I, you know, I haven't gotten a brushless whoop stuck in her hair yet, um, no. and I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid, too. Um, although, at the same time, the way that the brushless motors spin, it might actually not get all wound up in her hair. Uh, we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> she goes, oh. All right, cool. Let's go to the Get FPV box. See what they got. All right. And... Oh, in case anybody was one, I, I was talking about this uh, Emerson Mini Commander the other day, and uh, somebody had messaged me to ask. I'd, I'd been talking about um, this. This is called the Wave. This is a little innovation that Emerson made, and I was showing you guys how it, it catches on the edge of your pants, but I didn't actually show you guys because I had, like, sweatpants on. Um, but now, right now, I have human being pants on. So I'll show you the wave. So you run, you run it pocket clip out like that, and then the wave catches the the edge of your pocket and deploys the blade. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the uh, that's Emerson's wave. Isn't that cool? Oh, way back when we're talking like damn near 20 years ago, um, I got super into airsoft and if you think that I'm into FPV holy shit you should have seen me back then and uh, for, in, uh, airsoft hold on airsoft is basically a mil a, a mil sim version of paintball for, for lack of a better explanation and being into a mil sim game like that you meet a lot of ex-military current military uh, LEOs and uh, uh, when you start making friends with these people, then you get into all the other tactical shit. One of the things that I got into was tactical knives. Um, so I have a, 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 well, a, a dwindling collection, I should say, of uh, really decent tactical knives. Uh, a couple Emersons, a couple Striders, a uh, Benchmade or two. And every so often I just sell one of them when I'm like, yeah, I don't need this. Uh, 3140 T motors. These are great props. What else? Nazgul is making a three-inch prop. They are a 3040, 
and I just, whenever there's a new prop, I just buy it and pretty much no matter what. Look at the bullnoseness of this. This is, this is a um, more than likely designed for Cinewhoops. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Neat little neat little bullnose option for us. There are three inch, there, there aren't a ton of prop options. So uh, this is, ooh, this is an AK3255 amp. This is the big Akon ESC. Uh, so this, uh, either this or, um, I, Billy had mentioned he might send, uh, he, he might send me a, uh, another T-Motor 55 amp for uh, his giveaway rig here. This, the, depending on how quick or slow we get to 200 patrons, um, this might actually end up being the uh, the 200 patron giveaway full build. Uh, this is a beautiful build. Uh, Hyper Low Vert V2 frame, uh, T Motor F80 Pro motors, which are 1900 kV 2408 motors. This thing is a goddamn beast. Um, it's got the the Cricut Flight One board with Beta Flight flashed on it. And right now, at the moment, it's got a, um, uh, a T-Motor 55 amp with a, a bad channel. The, the uh, Motor 3 channel on the, on the ESC is a little bit weak. Um, all the good stuff. Crossfire HV, oh, I'm sorry, Unify HD, Crossfire Nano, Immortal T, little Axie 2 antenna. Just a great build. Um, very, very, very kind of Billy to uh, donate this to the to the collective and uh, I can't wait to give it away and see some see somebody bombing across a field at 180 miles an hour with it because my god it has all the horsepower in the world with those motors uh what's this these are oh yeah right uh gem fan 40 millimeter props I had I, I snagged a uh, uh the bigger um uh size frame uh which I think these are the right size for? Nope, they're not. They're too small. <laughs> okay, try again. <laughs> I, I don't know what size this <laughs> props this is for, um, but I, maybe I'll use these for something else. Uh, oh, oh hey, yeah, the, um, hold on, noisy bag. Come on, noisy bag, get out of there. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of refining my little charging setup over here uh, to, so that nothing is ever n not in a LiPo bag. Uh, so I snagged this Get FPV LiPo bag. Uh, this, is what, this is from their, um, their giveaway box. Uh, so it's, I don't know if it's on a different part of their website, but uh, this is great. I, I was actually hoping that it would be this size. It's always hard to tell with these bags when you look at the uh, at the website and you know god forbid I just break a tape measure out and look at their measurements and, and just you know look at it but uh, so yeah th that's uh, that's what this is gonna be for just furthering the uh, the safety of just having yeah I just I don't want I don't ever want to have batteries sitting out on the floor so I've now got four different sized lipo bags so that no matter what I can just kind of move batteries from one lipo bag to the other. Uh, some more of the T-Motor uh, 3140s. Uh, these are, oh yeah right, these are Baby Hawk 2.3 inch props. I want to see if these will, uh, I want to see if these 2.3 inch props will clear on the little um, Tiny Hawk Race 2. Um, so I picked up a bag of these. And I think that is it. Yeah, I basically did that order for the ESC um, so that I could get that rig back up in the air uh, and get it given away. So now we've got this box here from Emacs. So let's see what I mean, I know what's in here, but I don't know what it looks like, and neither do you guys. Um, you guys probably don't even know that this is going to be a thing. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. What's here? Um, oh, please don't be the NDA. All right, hold on. Hold on. Um, 
fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't. Sorry, guys. Oh, I feel like such an asshole now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I feel like such a jerk now. That's such a cock tease. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, I can't, I, I, I can't risk the, the relationship with them. Um, I'll do this, though. <laughs> I'll open it, and you guys can see my reaction to it. I don't know, is that, <laughs> is that like, does that make the situation better or worse? <laughs> Fuck. I'm just, God damn it, I feel like such a dick. Oh, man. All right, all right. You, uh, I'm going to have to open it, like, I'll open it away from myself, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure there's no cameras that are going to, like, pick this up. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm not mega surprised, uh, but that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Wow, they did a hell of a job putting it together. Oh, I see what they did. You sneaky bastards. Um, cool. That's cool. You guys will dig that. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, that's slick. Sorry, guys. That's the word. <laughs> Blizzard FPV with... <laughs> Two Canadian dollars saying what a jerk NDA. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wish I could disagree with you, Blizzard. Oh my God! All right, yeah. I mean, I, I can't even tell you guys what the name of it is. I, like, I can't. Um, I, I can't tell you anything. It, it's like full on. The the paperwork was just. Yeah, it's it's the paperwork that I've seen a couple times now, and I can't. It's 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 the one that you can't fuck around with. Um, Wow, cool. That was a good mailbag. Uh, some good stuff. I'm, I'm super excited to get this pinch cam on that. Um, it is a new thing. Yeah, it's it's a totally new thing. It, nothing, I'll be honest, it, it's not earth shattering, um, but it's cool. It, it's very cool and it makes uh, it makes a lot of sense that, that they did this. Um, and you guys can probably figure it out. Even if you guys call it in the chat, um, I just, I can't, but uh, any bets on how long before it gets destroyed? Well, I did break the, the, the Tiny Hawk race, too, so... <laughs> uh, right. So, let's get this stuff up out of here. Oh, 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 oh! I showed this yesterday, uh, but in case anybody wasn't here yesterday, this is, and it took me... I had to buy two other of these before I found one that's actually the same size as a GoPro session. Um, but this is a really bright uh, release date. That's a good question. I don't think I saw it in here. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Um, before they just say the date. Yeah, they don't, they don't have a date. Um, but yeah, you guys will dig it. You guys will dig it for sure. Uh, and I'll start flying it tomorrow. Maybe, uh, was I just going to, oh yeah. So, so this is a GoPro session sized, uh, very bright, uh, LED light. This is probably a Cree bulb. If you know anything about LED lights, that I got to copy Snake, who did this like two fucking years ago. And uh, I've been looking for this, for exactly this, ever since and haven't been able to find it. So since it's GoPro session sized, you can just drop it into your session mount and fly around a big ass flashlight. Um, you know, you're flying through the FPV feed. So now you can go out and have somebody follow you. And as they're following you, you're going to be lighting up the ground and shit, which should look kind of cool. Um, but what I'm really excited to do with this is uh, tripod mounted long exposure photography. 
Um, I can put the tripod, put the camera on like a 10 second shutter timer. And with how good these micro eagles are in the dark, I can do shit like orbiting cars. It just basically orbit the subject. Whatever the subject that I'm shooting of, um, I can orbit that subject and get uh, a streak. Basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a 360 degree light around that, um, around that subject. And it's just a really cool look and there's really cool... Um, you know, if I fly towards the camera, there'll be an extremely bright white light that'll be lighting up like trees and shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some cool shit with this. So, so stay tuned. And, um, I can even, if anybody's interested in this, I can, uh, I can drop a link on eBay or not eBay on Amazon. Uh, this guy is like 20, 26 bucks, I think, or so. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any interest whatsoever in this, and I'll grab the, uh, it is, it is the the actual dimensions of a Session 5, I don't know where my Session is, but the, the Runcam Box 5 is the same dimensions as a Session, so there, you can kind of see it, yeah, it's fucking awesome, uh, I did not, Ken, but, uh, my, it, as it turns out, my dad got me one, so I got my new light, uh, that was a birthday present that took forever, and apparently my <laughs> my dad also got me one of those ROTG things, uh, R R O T G O one Ishin things. So now I have two. <laughs> um, so if <laughs> maybe I'll do a giveaway, if, or if I, I assume not many of you are interested in the little Ishin uh, R O T G O one, um, but if if there's like one person that's interested in that, um, I'll uh, I'll hook you up. So okay, those are things uh, got the light from amazon it sounds like you're interested so i will just grab the link because it was a real bitch for me to find it <laughs> um they're all too big all of the ones that say that they're the same size and the measurements are all wrong that's the real problem is that the um the measurements of all of this shaped uh light on amazon are incorrect um, so I literally had to just buy one after the next after the next to try to find the right one. And there's the link. Uh, don't be worried by the uh, uh, by the bad reviews. It actually seems like it's half decent quality. Big Willie, be good, man. <laughs> Working five hours. Jesus. Uh, is that the 1S, Roscoe asks? What's that? Uh, this, is the, this is the Box 5. And then this is the Caddx Dolphin, and this is the Caddx Orca. Uh, I, I grabbed the, the instruction manuals to these two, and I still haven't been able to get them working. Um, and it looks like I might have demolished this Box 5 on the very first crash. So, you know, a lot of the same. No real, nothing's really changed around here for you guys. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get in there. So let's do a little work on the, uh, on the, uh, the thing in the place, the tiny trainer. So big news, good news. The Dacia Sandero is coming to America. Oh, the Emacs quad that I mentioned. I can't say, uh, there's a media embargo, Roscoe. I, I can't show it to you guys. I can't talk about it. I, I, I have to, uh. I probably shouldn't even have showed you the case, but I did because the case looks exactly the same as the um, as the other Emacs cases. They, they use the same cases for all their stuff. Uh, all right, let's get this light back into daylight mode. There we go. And let's get some of this tiny whoop stuff out of the way. So, big news. I'm going to make my tiny trainer... H D because that's kind of my thing. I only um uh I don't know six months ago I kind of decided like all right everything I fly from now on other than tiny whoops um is gonna be H D. Uh that's a big part of the passion of this hobby for me is doing something with the footage. Like just going out and flying is very, very fun, don't get me wrong. Um bah. Fuck the mic. Oh yeah, no, uh, Leviathan. I have the, um, I have the the uh, why are words so hard sometimes? 
I'm using the um, the webcam mic uh, for when I come over to the bench because the zoom mic is is a little bit too far away. Um, so yeah, it's th this is a lot less nice of a microphone, but I don't know. Unless it's really that bad, I guess I should rewatch one of these. I, I guess I should watch one of these streams um, to see what this webcam mic sounds like in comparison. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. So I definitely won't do it. <laughs> so this is how the little tiny trainer comes apart. Two screws up front, two screws in the back. These are M2 screws going into M2 16 millimeter tall standoffs. And I have decided to melt a hole in my canopy so that I can run the video antenna out the top here. Normally, uh, this hole is here for a little flip up stick thing. Um, Evan includes this little piece of tubing so that when you flip upside down, hopefully your rear propellers will be held up in the air. That's like a, a super uh, racer thing to do. Uh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm not going to run that. I would rather use that hole. Um, <laughs> I would rather use that hole for something else. And that is what she said. So there you go. There's the little hole that I melted with a soldering iron. Tried to keep it clean. Did an okay job. So there it is. Uh, this canopy is made by HQ out of their like super insane, like practically indestructible plastic. And yeah, this is going to take a fucking beating, I can tell. <clears throat> so we got that. Uh, Big Tater's cat is, is hanging out on his keyboard. I like that. So. Uh, this is the little pouch for the battery on the bottom, which is a super, super, super cool, super innovative, different, and wonderful design, which I really appreciate. Uh, also, on... Ooh, 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 ooh. I told them that I would share this. Oh, 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 many things, many things, many things. Okay, hold on. We got to pause. We got to pause on the, on, the, on the building, but we are going to talk more about the Tiny Trainer. Uh, let me get to my Instagram. This is important. So, uh, on yesterday and I believe the day before's Quarren streams, number six and seven, um, I had called out, as had a couple other folks, that the carbon fiber weave, the carbon fiber weave on this frame is incorrect. And according to this veneer layer, it is. Uh, uh, according to this veneer layer, the, the strands are going this direction and this direction, which is bad. We want the strands to be going in the 45 degree direction. Now, um, and I also need to not apologize because I was, because I, I gave all the caveats that I needed to, but I, I need to call out, hold on, I need to call out uh, to, and, and I, I also can't confirm this yet, we're just going by their, uh, their word, but on, Airblade UAV's website on a couple of their frames, they say in the description, the carbon fiber weave is not traveling the length of the arms, but the internal fibers are. And previously, when I'd read that on the stream, I said, well, that doesn't really make any sense. There's no reason for the manufacturer to ever do that. And it kind of sounds like they're just saying that to you know, to, to, as like, hey, fuck you, whatever, right? Um, as it turns out, uh, all right, I got to take another step back. So when carbon fiber is cut, it's cut on big ass sheets, big old sheets of like two mil thick, three mil thick, four mil thick, one and a half, five mil thick, whatever it is. But it's a big sheet. It's a big old sheet of carbon. And then they put whatever you're cutting, um, they put it on that big sheet of carbon over and 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 over again. The CNC runs and it cuts each one out. So the the name of the game is trying to fit as many of your frame and any other carbon fiber pieces on the sheet. All right. So apparently now, okay. So 
in order for for a um, a unibody, this is only a problem with the unibody. When when the arms are removable, they just line the removable arms up. This is a this is a removable arm CB3 frame. So when these arms get cut on the sheet, they just go arm 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 right. They can put a million of these fucking things on the sheet, and they put them straight up and down, and that's the way the weave is on the sheet, and everything's great. The outside veneer shows up and down, and the inside fibers are also going up, up and down, left and right. All right? Now, with a unibody frame, with a solid base plate frame, think about that, right? You, it, it makes sense to put those frames like this on there, um, and it's, you're actually able to squeeze more frames on the sheet by doing them in this orientation. As soon as you turn it, but, so previously, that would produce this result and the arms would not the arms would be very wobbly because they didn't have the carbon fiber strands running the length of the arm well so the way to fix that is to rotate all of your prints and then when you put you try to put as many as you can on the sheet you can't fit as many you can always fit more when it's like this than when it's like this the manufacturers found that out the the actual manufacturers of the carbon fiber layups not the cutter the the like the first person in the phase the guys that are vacuuming it and and putting the resin in and actually creating the carbon fiber sheet they apparently have found out about this or maybe this was just a thing all along and and you know we didn't know about it but they offer to take the top and bottom veneer layers now and rotate them 45 degrees and that's the case with this this was cut on carbon fiber sheets where the very top and the very bottom layers, which are called the veneer layers, they don't really do much of anything. They're just, they just look good. Um, those layers on the sheet are diagonal. So that when, um, wait, no, I'm sorry. The, well, it doesn't matter. But the, so the inner, um, the inner weave of that sheet of carbon that uh, they used has the the fibers going in the in the correct direction but then when we look at the veneer the veneers look wrong because the veneers have been rotated 45 degrees cronked no Th this is this is correct this was done correctly um, the veneer layers layers don't really add much if any strength um, and inside this carbon the fibers are going which I have confirmed which I'll show you in a second they are going in the correct direction the reason why this frame is so flexible is because it's only two millimeter thick carbon. The the thick the width of the arms is very wide and like the frame is chunky, so it makes you think, at least it makes me think, that it's a three millimeter frame. And and I'm kind of used to three millimeter thick arms. So when I bend a frame, I'm I'm used to the amount of flex that a three millimeter thick piece of carbon gives me. And this is not that. This is two millimeters thick, which is a 50% difference, right? That's a huge difference. So that's why this frame is a little bit more flexible. Now, if they had, it's kind of like quasi, but, but not really. Quasi is when they run the fibers up and down at a 45, left and right, and at another 45. And the problem with that is, on an arm, the only fibers that really matter are the ones that are going the length of the arm. So with quasi, you're wasting the 45, you're wasting the 45, and you're wasting the, the left to right, east and west. And I've, I've had quasi frames cut, and the arms are very flexible in this bending direction. What's interesting is quasi is very strong in the twisting direction. And if you have an imbalanced prop or motor, it's putting a lot of twisting force on the arms. So I, Quasi is kind of interesting. I, I would actually love to see a toothpick frame cut out of Quasi because it would, it, it, the, the, the extra flex of, flex of the arms in this direction of Quasi might be offset by the extra strength in the twisting direction. Um, but that's a, that's a tangent that I could spend another 20 minutes on. Back to this. Um, so, uh, oh, I forget his name. Uh, Ah, oh, shit, I forget his name. I was just talking to him. But the engineer that Evan worked with on this tiny trainer frame confirmed with the manufacturer. And they told the manufacturer, 
specifically to do this, and he did confirm with them that this frame does have the fibers, the inner fibers that make the strength, that make the difference, running the length of the arm. Um, and the next run that they do, they're not going to use this type of carbon sheet that's had the veneers rotated 45 degrees just because it's a fuck. It's just a hot mess. It's just a confusing pain in the ass mess. Right. Um, so yeah, the next run of these, it'll look, it will, it will look correct, but it'll be the same strength where th this is it. This is the strength. I don't need to. Um, I, I was close to doing it shy. I don't need to. And I'm going to show you why. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to their engine. Let me actually not do this live in case he said something to me that um, that he doesn't want me to have a thousand people looking at. Um, where's he at? Come on, there it is. Uh, his name is Mondo FPV. So if you want to friend the the engineer on Instagram that designed this, uh, Mondo M O N D O dot FPV is his name. And he, for, for the good of the community and the good of science and the good of the world, uh, he slammed his tiny racer into a big old iron beam and sent me the picture. And here is the picture. And so we can see the weave is the wrong direction, right? Just like my weave, the weave is a 45 degree angle, which is incorrect, but... That doesn't matter because here's the inside and you can see that the inside fibers are going the direction that I'm flinging the mouse back and forth. And you can even see here, the inside fibers are going left to right. So that's how we know for absolute certain that these tiny trainer frames are good to go. The, the, the veneer layers look wrong, um, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the, inner, the inner fiber layers are where all the strength comes from and they are going the length of the arms. So happy fucking days are here again because my God, I am so happy with this frame. This is such a cool little frame. And the fact that the, that the, that it's not cut in the wrong direction was the only thing that I was bummed about. Um, yeah, hell yeah, hell yes for engineers that know what they're doing. Um, Mongo, if you end up watching this, man, thank you for, for confirming all this. Very, very cool of you. Um, and again, thanks for being a, uh, somebody that knows what's what <laughs> that can, that can get stuff made, not all jacked up. And, um, more importantly, uh, sorry for being a pain in your ass. <laughs> um, it, we've been burned so many times by, uh, by, the cloners, all, all the Chinese manufacturers copying and, and doing this wrong, that uh, unfortunately we have to be a pain in the ass, right? Um, and that sucks, but I will say this, I messaged Evan about this on Saturday and by like yesterday at noon or something, we had our answer and like it was done. And like that's and and, and I mean their their engineer was bashing his shit into an iron fucking pole to give us the answer. That's that's pretty rad, man. That that's a company that I really hope sticks around because we do not get that kind of. Um, uh, you guys know what I'm what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's Tiago. It's very weird. This is the. Yeah, I, I, it's it's very strange that they that the the people laying up this carbon offer to. I I, I, I just don't. I I guess I get it, but I I just don't get it. <laughs> oh, here. Um, let me uh, let me show you. What, look at this spot that he was flying at to uh, to do this testing. This is pretty gnarly. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, here it is. Also, he is a fucking ripper, dude. He, he, he Mondo can fly. Mondo.fpv, Armando, that's his name, Armando. Uh, oh, he took it down. He must have just had it up uh, for uh, to show me. Oh, it was a story. It was an Instagram story that went away. Um, well, I can at least show you guys this. Here's the spot. Uh, what's the button? It's this button. Look at this spot. 
<laughs> it's freaking crazy. That's the metal pole that he bashed into. They set up a race course here, and they were just hammering around it. It was really cool. Amazing spot. Um, so, yeah, huge ups to 533. Great company. Um, yeah, just awesome. Can't show the video because it was an Instagram story. It's gone forever. Uh, okay, so because I've decided to go HD on this, we need to pick... Uh, the thinnest AIO board because this is going to be tight uh, and there, there is a chance I won't be able to uh, I won't be able to make this fit but somebody did make a cat oh 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 god damn so many things I need to show you guys somebody asked me the other day if a, um, a Cadex Vista would fit and I said no no way in hell and of course I was wrong let me show it to you guys uh, come on. Well, also, there's a Wii Mix with, a, with an Insta360 Go on it. That is super fucking cool right there. Uh, let me see if I can find this other post, though. Is it here? There it is. There it is. That's a Tiny Trainer with a Cadix crammed in the back. So apparently you can do it. Um, this was uh, this is one of Evan's friends. So if, if you want more info on how to do this, uh, just message Evan, and I'm sure he can uh, hook you up with the knowledge you so seek. How do I get out of full screen, Facebook? Maybe you should. Uh, maybe that's an important thing. Oh oh, and then here's their build video. Ah, goddamn! So many good things. Here's their build video, and look at the end of this video. They've apparently designed. Um, areas into the little battery pouch thing on the bottom where you can stretch it out and you can make it bigger. Uh, where is it? Uh, where does he put on the... Uh... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Check this out. So, I'm just going to let this roll full screen. It's just music over it. So there it is. Insert battery tray, right? So this battery doesn't fit. Well, it just barely fits in there. So look, you just heat it up and they designed these stretch band areas into the into the tray where they'll they'll stretch out and then the battery fits better come on like I, that's amazing yeah I, this frame is like uh, it's just been so long since since you know like Tommy oh my god has has done a good amount of actual innovation um, um, Kebab has done some some real innovation, but I don't know, man. This is like it, it's just so cool to see something completely different and to see it get done so well is uh, it's 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 really awesome. I'm I'm really so happy that this project exists. Uh, so we've got three different AIOs that we can choose from. This is the oh, wrong camera. Yeah, the LEDs do look sick, right, Roscoe? Uh, this is that new, really cheap one from Pyrodrone. And then this is the Beta FPV 20 amp. And then this is the Gep RC Mamba F4. And um, I compared these two yesterday, and there doesn't seem to be any difference in thickness. So I just need to compare this Pyrodrone one. I'm really hoping that I can use the Pyrodrone one. Um... It is thicker though. For oh no, it's not. I just have this one upside down. All right, so now it is thicker. So the get FP or the get FPV, the Pyrodrone one, they have used capacitors that are significantly taller. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. These capacitors are the lowest point for sure on the bottom of the board, and um, both of these other boards use much less tall capacitors and then on the top with the usb port the usb port is almost always the highest point so this is um this is probably not going to matter but sometimes they will put a 5 volt bec on the board that'll be taller than the usb port but in this case they did not so um <clears throat> i think i'll I think I'm going to stick with this Pyrodrone one. These capacitors are a tiny little bit taller, but like 
fraction of a millimeter. Like it's it's really not. Um, I, I don't think it's significant enough to not use this guy. Uh, but I am. I think I am gonna need to ditch and and bail on these tall uh, rubber grommets. Uh, because again, we got to put this HD board for this little uh, baby turtle uh, on top of this guy. So like, uh, I guess the easiest way to mock it up would be that this one's got the the most flat um, grommets in it right now. So to give you guys some idea, and I am gonna be able to um, the the little washers that I'm running down against the stack are a little bit tall. Like there's a big old gap. There's too big of a gap between the board and the base plate. You guys can kind of see it there. So I will be able to move this down a little bit. Uh, big Taters asks if I've ever broken a bone. The only bone I've ever broken was my pinky toe because I stepped on it going down the stairs, like carpeted stairs in my parents' house. Um, when I was like in college though, like growing up, I didn't break any bones. Um, my mom was was somewhat overprotective and was all about me not breaking bones so i didn't do any like super extreme sports growing up um but yeah to mock this up just to to give us some idea of of what we're working with here um we'll get another little bit of space when i go to thinner washers there and let's see how this guy is gonna sit on here Let me yeah, let me just loosen these guys up. The standoffs are being a little difficult right now, but let's just give these guys a little tiny half turn just so that the standoffs will move around a little bit. And now we're good. Okay, yeah, and that just dropped on there. So let's see what we got. Let's see um, what's going to contact, how high we're going to have to put it, and whether or not we're going to be able to get nuts on the top of these uh, screws. That's what she said. Get on there, you little jerk. I have to, I always have to resist the urge to pick things up and work on them because you guys are watching. So this is not going to be hard at all. <laughs> there's like, there's plenty of space here. Um, and this is before even like screwing around with rotating the board in different directions. So I guess let's look at this board and see which side is the flattest. So this side has this heat sink for the processor, which gets really hot. So, I mean, I would love to run it upwards like this. That also protects this. You know, this plug header is probably going to be the tallest bit of the whole thing. Um, the only problem with running this side of the board upwards is that the, the memory card slot is now kind of buried. Um in between these boards not in between the boards but it's 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 just going to be a little bit tougher to get the memory card out but here's the thing right with this canopy on it's going to be a son of a bitch to get the memory card out anyway i, I so i don't think it really matters <laughs> like yeah so i, I mean it's, I, i'm gonna have to take the cover off to get the memory card out anyway i believe so i guess it doesn't really matter if if that memory card slot is on the top or on the bottom. But that being said, let's flip it over and let's see what um, what starts to contact first, just for the sake of um, science, I guess. Uh, Mondo FPV says, just got the samples production in one month, just sent photos of them to Ciati FPV on Instagram. Let's go over to Instagram and see what Mondo sent. Mondo, thanks for joining us, man. Very cool of you. Very, very cool of you for joining us. Um, can I show these? Yeah, Mondo, you're a mod, brother. You don't have to do anything, but um, influential people and, and people that help out, uh, I make mods so that their names will show up in blue. Uh, just got the samples production in less than one month. Uh, yeah, Mondo, can I show these, or uh, is this secret? Yes, thank you for saying show it because I fucked up earlier and, and I couldn't show anybody something that I'd been telling them for an hour that I was very excited to show them. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, what's that? A, 
right, I have to guess the, I have to guess the motor size. Uh, that looks big, dude. Is that a fifteen oh four? I'm gonna guess fifteen oh five actually, because it looks a little taller. Um, so that's my guess, fifteen oh five. If that's a fifteen oh five, I'm gonna drive to your house and fucking kiss you, Mondo. Um, because I've been waiting for a 1505 motor for about three years. Oh, and there's the, um, yeah, there's that spot. Look at this. Look at him ripping. What a lunatic. Mondo, you racers are a, a different breed from us dinky little freestyle pilots. What an unbelievable spot to fly. My God. 2208. No, no the little one. I don't care about the big one. <sighs> Come on, Mondo, spill it. Tell us what size it is. Or at least tell me what size it is here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take my Instagram messages off the stream. <laughs> oh, it is, okay, so it's a 1404. Damn, dude, that looks big for a 1404. Um, that looks really big for a 1404. Damn. Uh, what's it weigh? Uh, make an L bracket. What are you talking about, big taters? Make an L bracket that hookers to the bottom front hole and latch it to the back. I have no idea what that... What, what were we talking about? We were probably talking about something. Um, and I'm just brain dead. Oh, okay. It's what... Usually my computer says it's 12 o'clock. Uh, for your card? What card? What? Oh, oh, oh. We're talking about the tiny trainer. <laughs> Oh, you're rando with the real question. How thick is the shaft? It, it, I, I think it's going to be <laughs> nice solo. Um, okay, make an L bracket that hookers to the bottom front hole and latches to the... I still don't understand. <laughs> Big taters. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, awesome, Mondo. Yeah, Mondo, do you happen to know what thickness the shaft is? Um, I don't think... I don't think a 14 millimeter wide stator is big enough for a three millimeter shaft. Um, so I'm pretty sure it is a two millimeter shaft. Uh, I have a feeling he'll tell us in a second. No, big taters. It sounds like a good idea. I need to know. <laughs> this is going to be a real problem. That's going to drive me fucking crazy. So um, I, I'm just, I'm sure I'm just being a spaz and not understanding it. Um, uh, the, yeah. So the, this 14, any 1404 is probably going to have a two mil shaft. Uh, the 15 size, 15 and 16 and up, uh, that seems to be where there is enough room in the stator to go to a three millimeter motor shaft. Um, but nobody's ever going to make that because I want it to be made. So, you know, don't, don't hold your breath. Uh, all right, back to this guy. <laughs> Man, we are all, we, I am all over the place on this stream tonight. I hope you guys are down with it. What's the deal with that? What's happening? Is this uh, uh, two millimeter? Yeah, yeah. It's I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure that on a fourteen mil wide stator you just can't. There, there's just not enough width to go to the bigger bearing required to go to the three millimeter uh, motor shaft. But that's okay. This this rig, um, fully built, even with HD, this rig is going to be plenty light for a two millimeter motor shaft to hold up just fine. Um, the three mil motor shaft thing that I, I know I obsess over guys, but um, I promise you it's worth obsessing over. Uh, the three millimeter motor shaft thing is really only important when your all up weight gets over about 210 grams. Um, if you're under 210 grams, uh, the two millimeter motor shafts actually hold up uh, perfectly well. So yeah, don't let that drive you as nuts as it drives me um oh, man that usb port is in a shitty spot um so the, we're gonna end the stream very very soon because i want to go relax uh tonight's stream is always 10 to 12 it, it's always going to be 10 to 12 uh after midnight me in here screaming at the top of my lungs is just not fair to my lovely incredibly understanding wife because she goes to sleep at a sane time and her she's right over god damn it she's uh right over there 
on the other side of the wall in the bedroom. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I guess there really isn't going to be a USB location that is not horrible for this thing, <laughs> um, which is fine. We can do damn near everything in the OSD nowadays. Uh, what about pointing it up like that? And I'm just using this to, as a mock-up. Yeah, the USB port is always going to be obscured, so it might as well be super-duper obscured there. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to run this board upside down, actually. Um, the only real... It's going to make the build a little bit harder because these the pads are only single-sided. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the build not in the quad. So I'll, I'll do the whole build here, and then I'll be able to just flip it over, drop it in, and then I'll tack the uh, uh, the motor pads on. Although this is not the, never mind. That's not the <laughs> that's not the AIO that I want to use. This is the one that I want to use. So it'll be like that. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. So I'll run the the battery leads up these nice two great big holes, and then I'll do all the building, flop it over, and thankfully they did the uh, the motor pads as through holes. So it'll just drop down there. I'm going to take these uh, grommets out, and I'm going to run grommets that are the same thickness top and bottom, um, and that will allow the, uh, the baby turtle board to drop down nice and low. And then I'll have HD, and I won't be able to fly it well because you can't see shit in the FPV feed on this, but that's the sacrifice that, uh, that I was signing up for when I decided uh, however long ago it was that everything I fly is going to be HD from now on. And this, maybe I won't change these uh, uh, grommets because these are actually not high enough. So, okay, this is exactly how I'm going to run this. I'm going to put washers under here that are a little bit flatter. These are one and a half mil. I'm going to drop down to one mil um, uh, nylon screws on the bottom to hold these, uh, to hold these guys... Mondo, are you talking to me or somebody else? Probably somebody else. Uh, Mondo, since you're you're late to the stream tonight, um, if you want to talk to me, just type at CIDFPV. It'll let your comment up in orange. Um, our chat is, and like our, just everybody that hangs out here, we're the collective. We, uh, uh, we're the Borg. Yeah, we group think shit. And everybody uh, talks to each other in the chat. And then if they want to talk to me, they just type at CIDFPV and it lights it up in orange. Um the more you know. Okay, so we did something, and that, that's that's all I really wanted to get done is is something. So uh, we're good here. This is how I'm going to run the um, the board. I think I, I, it looks like I am going to need to space this upwards just a tiny little bit more, unless it clears when I flip this over. So let's try that as well, just for the just for shats and gaggers that's right i said it all right let's drop this fella on here and let's see how that clears oh wow it's a hot mess on this side but that's okay uh, and i can feel that something is hitting okay so it's it was that that's fine that will get itself worked Ooh, this actually might be how i run it the only problem with running it this way is that heat sink is going to be facing downwards towards the AIO. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, these AIOs, uh, they're not that bad, but um, they blow up more than like the 20 by 20 stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to make that situation any worse. So I am going to mount it like this with this... Um, this part of the processor, this heat sink part of the actual processor in there facing upwards um, just so that there's no issues. And yes, that's long enough. That'll drop right in there to the TPU front. And shit, yeah, man, this is going to be really cool. This is going to be really cool to have this in HD. Ah, awesome. All right, guys, let's wrap this shit up. Uh, use rubber band to hold the body on. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to do that, Big Taters, um, because I'm going to have to. So, oh, man, thank you for saying that. Um, I was I was wondering. 
So I love this setup, but since I'm going to have to get in there... Oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I forgot the back of the... Uh, the back of the... Uh, fucking words. Why do you have to be so hard? The back of the canopy is opened. Oh, no, that's the front. I'm sorry. Never mind. That's the front. This is where the TPU goes. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to peek in there and get the card out, but th this is going to be closed up. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, the, the way that they intend you to do it is they give you zip ties. So you zip tie the, uh, the ends of the... Th that's why these ends of the arms have this big vertical bastard, um, is to let the zip tie uh, not slide off into the motor. Um, so they want you to zip tie these down, but that would mean that every time I want to get the memory card out, I'd have to cut the zip ties... Um, so yeah, I'm going to run rubber bands on the ends of these. Awesome. I didn't even think of that. Um, and I even have like little tiny black rubber bands. So I'll go rubber band, rubber band, rubber band, rubber bands. And then, um, I'll just have one, two, three, four, uh, on the screws to kick this up and, and pop the memory card out. Dude. Hell yeah. This was a crazy stream. I've been talking as fast as I can to try to get all this info out to you guys. And I hope it did a good job, and I hope I didn't sound like the Micro Machines guy. Um, aging myself yet again, but hey, whatever. I'm cool being being an older dude. Uh, let me just flip through the chat really quick here. Uh, again, Mondo, hey, thanks for coming. Um, thanks for hanging, and uh, thanks for designing such a fucking awesome frame, man. Shit. Dope. I wish I could find an engineer for my frame like you that actually follows through and gets it done. God, I've been working on my own sort of frame for the better part of two years, and it's and it's just, uh, it's still vaporware. It'll get there eventually, I guess. Uh, TweetFPV says, Ciati, I used the beta AIO board and found that I really need about an extra 10 millimeters of wire length on the main discharge leads. The cap makes it a very tight fit with the GNB 543S. Oh, the cap. Oh, interesting. Right, because it... Oh, that's fucking annoying. Well, I'm not using that board, so I'm going to do my own lead. Um, thanks for saying that, though. I, now I know I need, to, uh, I need to make it a little bit longer than this. Very, very, very good to know. Thank you. Uh... Uh, Big Tater says, now looking at it, there's no hole on the bottom. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I know what you were what you were saying, Taters. Yeah, there's no hole um, on the bottom plate. The, all the room gets used. This, this is, the frame is very well packaged, to put it in uh, automotive terms. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Tiago says, Mondo is on the stream. Mod him and show him the new 1404 motor... Oh my god, I just threw up my mouth. Uh, do, 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 do. Leviathan says, What? You stepped across your other foot just to squash your pinky toe. Very interesting. I was, um, I was like, turning the corner. I was a right corner. I was running up the stairs, and it was actually the last stair. I think I was doing stairs and triples, uh, I'm a big, long-legged bastard. Uh, I'm 6'2", but I also have very long legs. Um, so I can do triples on stairs. Sometimes I can even do four at a time. Um, but I remember I was going as fast as I could up the stairs, up the carpeted stairs. And uh, the on the, the last one, I guess it was my right foot. Was it my, I thought it was my left foot, but whatever. I My foot went up and, and like my toe caught the carpet for whatever reason. And then when I put my foot down, it just... <laughs> just broke the shit out of my little toe and then the and then when you go to the hospital for that they go yeah we can't do anything we, we can't even like splint it or like you can try taping it to the toe next to yours but that usually hurts worse and it does so you just suffer for weeks and weeks and weeks and then it's fine or you let them cut it off because we actually don't need our pinky toes how about that the the first human to be born without pinky toes will be a the next generation of evolution Weight savings, yo. Every little bit matters in motorsports. Uh, all right. Make sure I didn't miss anything amazing. Uh, Big Taters rightly says, better to have an overprotective mom. Yeah, that's for sure, man. I'm I'm still alive. 
And there we go. Okay, so I think I'm relatively good. Cosmetic layers, good to go on that. If anybody else has any um, uh, questions I didn't answer, do me a favor, drop them uh, real quick here. Uh, Metal Dirtskin says, is that the J-H-E-M-C-U-A-I-O board? I had one of those fail right out of the box. Great! <sighs> so initially I'll be using the J-H-E-M-C-U board, and then when it blows up immediately, I'll switch over to one of these other two boards. <laughs> God damn it. Um... Uh, what's a good, co oh, here's a good question. Fun with JPI says, uh, what's a good combination of all the parts in your description? So I tried to not have many. Um, let's do this. Uh, fun with JPI. Message me. Um, if you're on Patreon, message me on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, uh, message me at Ciotti, well, not the at, but Ciotti FPV on uh, Facebook or Instagram uh, so Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon, message me. Tell me where you're going to fly. Tell me how you fly. Uh, mainly, like, I crash a lot. I never crash. Um, tell me where you fly. I think I already said that. I need to know if you're flying over grass or concrete, shit like that. Um, maybe, like, tell me who a couple of your favorite pilots are uh, so I know, like, what you're going to try to emulate with the way that you fly. And um, anything else you can think of, like, you know, I want write whatever you want and we'll we'll work out a build for you and you'll be good to go. Uh, do, 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 Mike uh, Hey, there we go. All right, so I'm caught up on the chat. Let's look at the bottom to see if there's any <laughs> <laughs> Sweet FPV says, if it matters, I had a beta AO board f uh, fail on the first pack. Um, so yeah, definitely not putting uh, that heat sink downwards towards the AIO. Um, somebody had just told me the other day that the AIOs are getting a lot better. Uh, and now you guys are just... Uh, <laughs> you guys have just shot down all the shit. So uh, Rotten Tomato says, have you tried Pyrodrone's graphene batteries? Uh, I have. I've tried a couple of their different graphene batteries. And as much as I love Pyrodrone, um, I have not had good luck with their graphene batteries or anybody's graphene batteries, to be honest. Every time I've ever tried a graphene battery, it has let me down. They're more saggy, um, they don't, and, and they just don't hold up long term. Uh, so I am not a graphene fan. I just recently got another one to give them another chance, and they're just, they're just not as good as regular lipos. Uh, Big Tater says, we need them to balance. God damn right we do. Uh, <laughs> be like those things from Dark Crystal. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then last but not least, for sure, we've got Cage FPV. Just got back from flying two batteries in the Gecko. Flies so good. Flew with a, ma <laughs> a massive 1500 mAh battery. <laughs> Would it perform better with a different size 4S? Yeah, for sure. Uh, get you some uh, 4S 450s, Cage. You'll love them. That's the battery, uh, the right battery for that rig. Um... Rotten Tomato says, isn't the nitro nectar graphene? I hope not, because that would shatter my, um, that would shatter my assumption that, and, and series of experiences that lead me to be able to say graphene batteries suck a big bag of dicks, period. Uh, nitro neck for 300 mAh. Let's see if they call it out on their website at all. Mm, let's do a find. So the word graphene is nowhere on the um, item description page, but it doesn't not say, it does say lipo. HV lipo. Oh, you know, I've never seen an HV graphene. So, um, I don't think it's a graphene. Usually when they're graphene, they'll call it out. Um, so I'm going to take a guess and say that, especially because of how good these perform, that it's not a graphene. All right, guys, that's it. 1230, I gave you a little bit extra. Hope it was fun. Um, thanks to everybody for the super chats and the support tonight. Um, go and uh, hit up the Patreon if you're not on there already. I promise it'll be worth uh, the couple bucks, and I would love to get to 200 patrons and have to take my shirt off not live on the stream because nobody wants to see my bosoms 
Um, but yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, I do have Streamlabs now, so there will be. Uh, last night I, I did a I did a manual um, uh, uh, super chat progress bar thing. Um, but Streamlabs will allow me to do this for real, so stay tuned for that. Um, Quarren stream number nine. That's an eight. There we go. Uh, tomorrow. I don't know what we'll be doing, but make sure you subscribe or click the bell thing to find out when. I, I don't uh, do have a Discord group. There's another link down there to the Discord group. If you join Patreon, you'll get automatically added to my Discord channel with uh, extra perks and, and stuff. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, it was a good stream. This was fun. I had a blast. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, thanks to all the moderators for kicking ass as always. Thanks to all you awesome people for asking great questions. Um, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Let me play you out with, uh, I'll play you guys out with the, uh, uh, with a little bit of crane footage from the crane edit. Uh, it's not going to play right. It's going to get all juddery because I haven't, uh, I forgot to export it last night. But, uh, you know, you'll have to wait for the official, I'll do a, um, when I put it up, uh, on YouTube, I'll schedule it and I'll schedule it for a, uh, what do they call it? A release party or whatever the fuck it is. Um, so that we can watch it together and you guys can chat, um, uh, premiere, YouTube premiere. That's what I'll do. I'll do a, a premiere, uh, because why not? It's funny. Here it is. All right. So let's go back to the beginning here and I'm going to play you guys out on this. As soon as it starts to get all choppy, I'm just going to end the stream. So, um, you guys will get about three seconds of this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your three seconds of of my next uh, upcoming edit, which on the past couple corn streams we've been working on. So uh, really quickly, let me make sure it's going to work at all. Looks like it's working. All right, here you guys go. I will talk to you tomorrow.
Oh, oh, oh.